Hi, one and all, and welcome to the first episode of Stoneheart Alpha Gameplay. And I'm your host, as always, Ham Nizu. Stoneheart is a new game currently in development by Radiant Entertainment. And if you are not familiar with the game already, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the development blog. So you can check it out to read up on this game and find out more and maybe find out how you can get it for yourself. So uh, this is the first public released alpha build of Stoneheart. Next year is release 10, but it's the first public release as I said. So we're gonna take a look at the funny antics here on the, the basic build here. In this, uh, in this uh, first public released alpha build, they have... Uh, uh, let's see here. We have uh, basic needs of the citizens or the villagers or whatever you want to call them. Uh, settlers is the name I prefer. Uh, they ha can get hungry, they can get cold, and they can get sleepy. We have some uh, some basic uh, what do you call this crafting, and uh, they are all performed by the 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 first and so far only uh, profession in the game. The carpenter, and uh, we can also collect some resources. And uh, as I said, it's an alpha; it's the first alpha build, so we should be prepared for some uh, some bugs, I think. But let's head into the game here and see what what we get. And uh, the worlds are randomly generated, so each time you start a new game, you will have a new a new experience. And uh, you can't save your game in the in the current build here, so you will be forced to have a new experience every time you start up the game. So I will try to show you all uh, show you all everything uh, currently available in this build in one sitting here. So hopefully the video will not be too long. And I, I used uh, the left mouse button here to uh, to drag around the screen. And I can use the right mouse button to, uh, to spin around, and I can use the middle mouse button to to zoom in and zoom out. And let's see. Let's found our town. Founders manual. First, find a suitable spot for your new home. Pick a spot with easy access to food and lumber. When you're ready, click the banner and place it where you would like to settle. So we'll try to find a nice spot with some food and some. You can see food grow on these small berry bushes. Uh, so, berry bushes and trees. Let's see, we have a lot of berry bushes, but not so much trees over there. I'm just gonna do a quick run around the world here. Try to find a nice spot. This is a mountain, by the way. Can't really do anything with that in the current build, though. Hmm. I want... I want more berries. Let's see, no, not enough wood over there. <laughs> over there, though. This is just by the edge of the world. Kind of terrifying, if you ask me. Let's not, you know, let's pick this spot. It's, it, it looks good. It looks good. So let's go with settling there, and we get some small villagers or settlers here. They all have their own look. That's cute. And uh, we should place a stockpile. Stockpiles are used to store store uh, various uh, oh, what are they called? Resources. In this uh, in this build, we have uh, food and we have uh, and we have uh, uh, wood. So let's see. Here. We should build a stockpile. It's pretty easy. You press this uh, hammer down here and build stockpile. And I shall place another one over here. And if you press the stockpile, you can edit its properties. And I'm gonna set this one to resources, and I'm gonna set this one to food. Just to make it more obvious for myself. And I'm also gonna tell them to build a workshop. And this is where we find our professions. And as I said, we only have one so far, the carpenter. And you also put a small stockpile for the carpenter. Remember to drag. Not only click, but drag uh, as you do it. And we see a thing, uh, they start a fire during the night as they are they are freezing. So they put up a fire here just to to get warm again. 
And we're gonna collect some berries here. You can do it by pressing the, the berry bushes. And you have gather berries or shop tree. We don't wanna shop the tree because that would shop down the, the berry bushes and we don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna tell them to uh, collect berries and I choose to press the number one instead of instead of uh, pressing this button here. And we also should promote one of the workers here to a carpenter. Either I can click this one and get a list of all my citizens or I can click on the name and see if this is Alina Carvet, Car Carvet, something like that. And click to approve and she will become our carpenter. See her, get a nice animation as she receives her saw and she's now ready to to uh, to craft some furniture for us. Let's see, let's put it to work right away. I'm gonna tell it to make some beds. These are mean beds and they are uh, slightly more comfortable than sleeping on a board. And <laughs> mean as in poor, not cruel, though it's that too. Yeah, but it's, it's enough for now. Let's see, here we have one bug. She's stuck in motion. Seems she was hungry and didn't really know what to do. That's okay though. See, I'm gonna tell all my workers to get busy. And you can see here they they uh, leave the berries in this stockpile. Although that one is outside, but it will be taken care of. And now uh, we they put all the the wood on this stockpile. And as soon as uh, let's see here, what was the name? Alena has finished the, the first bed. She will put it in the stockpile of the carpenter. And it will be good. So you saw the the small bubbles over the head with the chicken bone indicating that they were hungry. And uh, you can also get uh, sleepy. And uh, as you saw, they start a fire when they get cold. If you press the finished bed here, you can place it by pressing it and pressing this arrow here or simply pressing the number one key and place the bed. And I'm just gonna tell them to place beds somewhat close to each other here. And I'm gonna set my my workers here. You can see all the one in green shirts are the the workers. They collect uh, food if you tell them to and uh, chop down trees and carry the, the resources to their respective uh, stockpile. And uh, the carpenter is the one uh, focusing on uh, on uh, crafting. So uh, Alina will not go and chop down a tree, for example. And as you saw, uh, Artem uh, decided to sleep on the, the ground instead of a bed. Let's see here. If I can... Uh, so, no, sorry, it was Marianne, M Marianne, who slept on the bed. No, I slept on the ground. <laughs> so, she awakes Groggy and um, Elaine as well, apparently. So, uh, there's an, a negative effect to sleeping on the ground instead of uh, sleeping in a bed. And if they get too tired and are too far, aw far away from their bed, they will simply sleep on the ground. Let's see her. One... One, two, three, four, five. Damn, I'm put the beds far, far apart, but that's that's okay. I guess I won't complain too much. And I build them one bed each, cause uh, as soon as one have uh, one person have slept in a bed here, they are uh, the designated owner of that bed, and no one else will be allowed to sleep in that bed. So they will. Need one each, of course. And you see up here we have uh, two uh, counters. One for the food and one for the, the the wood. And in my opinion, I would say the one for the wood is somewhat incorrect. Because we have more than ten here. But uh, as I said, it's it's an alpha. And it, there might be bugs. Let's take a look at what we can craft here with the carpenter. We can make picket fence, which is a regular fence. We have picket fence gate, which of course is a gate for the fences. 
We have a simple wooden chair and a cathedral arch chair, which are just for sitting down, which make the food 20% more satisfying. We have a table for one and a dining table, which allows more than one people to sit around it. And we have the mean bed, which we already have seen. If you look closely, you can see that we have craft right now and maintain it in inventory. If I go ahead and say I want you to construct or craft two dining tables right now, you can see that they will be in Alena's uh, crafting queue. Two tables. But if I go to the fences and say I want you to maintain two in inventory, craft, you can see there's equal to on the small image here, meaning that she will make sure that there are at least two fences in her stockpile. And then if I uh, call out for a worker to uh, to uh, move a fence or place somewhere else, she will build new ones. Let's see, I'm gonna place my dining table somewhere close to the, to the food here. So somewhere over there. Seems this one is stuck in motion. Autumn. That's too bad. She got hungry. This one is stuck in motion as well. That's okay. It will fix itself, I hope. So that's the basic look of the game right now. We can um, craft the various items, I guess, like the tables and uh, let's see here. I want you to craft some tables. No, sorry, some shares. Let's go with it basic ones. One each. I don't know if they own a share just as they own uh, the beds. If anyone knows or if a developer for whatever reason will see this video, please feel free to tell me so so that I find out. Let's see, we can place our fences using the same method as beds and tables. See, that's a share, right? Yeah. Let's place the share by the table here. I don't know if you how close to the table you're supposed to place it. Maybe that's too far away. Maybe it's just right. Maybe it's close. But no matter what, there's no real benefit in uh, sitting by a dining table and eating as a group for now. But I'm sure there will be in a later build. Let's move that chair a little bit closer. And let's keep on being active with our resources. You can see I used up two of the two of the fences from here, but she's not rebuilding them now because I moved the order in the queue, making her to build a Elena to build the shares before keeping eye on uh, on uh, what do you say on queue with the fences. See, let's rotate a little bit and make sure we can see the, the table here. Seems like she's not building the fences now, though. Let's let's try it once again. Oh, okay, she's sleepy or something. No, she's cold. Get back to work. Yeah, there we go. And if you saw. We can uh, tell Elena here to craft some weapons and armor. However, there's no combat in this uh, in this uh, alpha build, so there's really no point in it. But I'm gonna tell her to craft one sword and one wooden buckler, just so we can take a look at it and see how pretty it looks. If we zoom in on one of the sleeping ones, you can hear a small lullaby. However, there, there were two of them now, so they kind of interrupted each other. Let's see if we can get one. There we go. Dara. Yeah, you hear it a little bit, I guess. 
And it will have to be good enough for now. And I'm just gonna build a lot of fences here. You know what? Let's actually make another carpenter. So we can make the fences a little bit quicker. I'm gonna place this carpenter on this side. And I'll make a small stockpile. It's not symmetrical, but it's something at least. Put it too, too far down there. You can see now that the food seems to be somewhat accurate at least, but the wood is way off. We'll have to promote another worker here. Let's go with uh, Elena. So we have Alina. Uh, Al Al Elena and Elena. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your names. Sorry, girls. So let's make sure you craft to uh, or maintain to fences as well. I will also tell you to build a fence gate. You can craft it right now. And uh, I will take some of the fences here. And I will just keep on collecting resources. Beautiful. So we'll see. We have a sword. If Elena would be so kind to move. We can't really see the sword if you're standing there. Let's do like this. Throw that one. There we go. So you can somewhat see the sword there. But we can't use it now. But I, I think that uh, later on you would be able to collect, uh, no, press the sword and give it to and then select a worker and the worker would no longer be a worker but a footman. And we have the wooden buckler here. Uh, you know what, let's, let's tell you to build lots of fences, okay? Like 15 or something like that. And same here. Let's throw that one and build 15 fences for now. Just to keep them busy. But the wooden buck uh, buckler is, uh, I guess, as a, a shield for the footmen to give them more protection. You can see now that the wood is starting to, yeah, freak out a little bit. So that's that's one of the more reoccurring bugs for me. But I think they look kind of cute as they are working here. Standing here with a little saw, doing what they can. Let's see the eating animation, maybe? As they are sitting down here by our. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. the The, the plate is supposed to be here on the, on the table, more or less. But uh, yeah, it's alpha and it's a it's a bug. <laughs> it happens. It happens. It's okay though. And you can see even if the, the trees are far away, they gather resources here on the stockpile, which I set to resources. And uh, the reason why I place the carpenters close to this uh, stockpile for resources is, uh, of course, so they don't have to walk too far. I'm just gonna... Fences, fence in these uh, barriers here because I can, and I think it would like look pretty. Let's build a gate there. Why not? Something else that I have uh, I've seen here is that I can't select uh, an item to place and then move around the camera because I will. You know, I will glitch out. I will have to zoom out, select an item to move, press it, and then move. So, uh, ready to see. The, make sure you see the area where you want to place the item before you select the item and move it there. I think that's came out correctly. I hope so. Let's tell you to craft a gate as well, and Elena as well, please. A gate. And while they are busy crafting that, let's uh, get some more resources here. And I will uh, show you something else, because we don't have only this build. Uh, place an item, by the way, is uh, when you select one of these. 
and you can uh, take the picket fence. Oh, sorry. And you can place it like this. You can even rotate it with the right mouse button there. So it just you don't have to go over here to place it. I guess that's the solution to the problem I was having before. You can select it from here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I yeah, I guess that's I guess that's an easier way to do it actually, because then you can rotate and get the camera here, build, place an item, picket fences. Picket fences. Picket fence. Come on. Picket fences. Yeah, I guess it's kind of easy. That's a good solution to it, actually. But we have uh, these structures down here. So what might that be? Well, of course, structures are small, small uh, rooms or bigger house. Wall loop allows us to build our own, our own. Um, shape of the house. Let's cancel that one. And uh, the simple room is a predefined house by the developers. And I'm just gonna collect some resources here so that I have some wood in the stockpile. I'll wait for my my workers to be ready for it. Some of them are too hungry to work <laughs> walk all over the way all the way over to the share. So they sit down on the ground. You see, they have the plate in their knees, in their in their knee, and they don't use telekinesis power or something to levitate it behind them and eat in a medical way. Let's see who is supposed to place this fences here. I don't know why. Why? Why they're not there though? Hmm. I don't know what's going on with that. We'll have to wait and see if someone moves them there. But I, I thought we were gonna collect some resources here. Let them collect these, uh, these uh, logs here, and we will try out to build a small house. We could, of course, fence in the this area and maybe the beds and. Uh, Let's see, is there anything else I missed? No, I think that's all. Everything I can show you in this and this build. We have flowers, by the way. Small, beautiful flowers. We can't really see them now. It's, it's night time. But uh, there are flowers. They are, they are cute. Let's see, can I find my... There, <laughs> there we are. I lost my settler staff for a while. I guess I could show you what happens if we chop down one of these berry bushes. See who will take on the job to shut them down. Do you not have anything to do? You should build me a fence gate. There we go. I'm just gonna place new fences in these holes there to fill them in. Let's see, was there someone who chopped down the berry bushes? I missed it. Okay, let's go with it again. Shop tree. Looks like Jess is on the on, on the job here. You see, you get one log from it and you will lose the berries forever, so it's not really worth it in my opinion. We have Elena here warming up by the fire. Let's see, place an item. I'm gonna do this again. It's actually kind of easy once I realize how to use it. However, it would be nice if it hold the selection, I think, so you can drag them somehow. It's kind of frustrating having to press it over and over when you want to place the same kind of item, you know? It's, it's okay. Something I haven't talked about, by the way, is uh, these uh, message down here. 
which tell you that they uh, if they have a negative effect and uh, if the sun has set or rise and uh, you will also have some small messages from your settlers like Elena here tells us that uh, ow a blister why am I doing this to myself an at will employment contract is pretty much beside the point when you're out in the middle of nowhere yeah <laughs> yeah something like that and berries did taste better than starving yeah that's true you are wise yes is my settlement containing only girls? I think so. How will you reproduce? We will never find out. Or yes, yeah, yes it's a girl. Well, it's okay. It's okay. So let's see here. We have some building materials. Let's try to build a small house. Uh, I took the wrong one. Structures, a uh, small room, and we can rotate it just as the other ones with the right mouse button. Let's place the house um, down there. See something like that. And we're back. So the game crashed just as I was trying to place structure, but that's okay. And now I have a bug here with the, the crafting table or the computer workbench. I have promoted the. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't see them name their names now, but uh, I have a carpenter promoted, Iwin. But uh, apparently it got stuck somehow. I guess I did something too quickly after promoting someone to a carpenter. So, but I think I will be able to build a small structure anyhow. So let's go with a simple room and place it next to the flowers here. And I... yeah, that we have the entrance to the beautiful... I don't know if I talked about this before, by the way. The the rocks or stone here. We can't collect it right now, but I'm sure a, a later build will allow us to. And as I said before, the sword... You see, we can't select any of our copters yet. The, the sword will... Um, and I can't even tell them to chop down a tree. Okay, this will be interesting. I, don't, I have no idea if they will chop down a second tree. If they will need more resources. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Uh, where was I? Yeah, the, the sword and the shield. Uh, looks like uh, promising of battle soon, in my opinion. Maybe goblins or something running around the forest. And you will have to defend yourself. Let's see here. Nope. They took the last log. And they did not decide to chop down a, another tree. A tree. But I can't tell them to chop down trees because I have this weird bug here. But anyhow. You see these blue squares here. They are uh, the blueprint of what the house will look like. But in the current build, they will just build the walls and not the roof, so you will not have a complete house anyways. But I, I think I will call that it for this uh, first episode of the Alpha Gameplay, and I will record another episode once we have uh, the new build out. I don't know how often they will update it, but uh, they have said something about once a month, and uh, hopefully more frequently now in the beginning. So uh, maybe in a few weeks or something like that. Please leave any feedback or thoughts in the comments. And if you have not upgraded to Google Plus yet, you can uh, feel free to let me know what you feel about this episode on Twitter and Facebook. I will leave my all my links in the description. And also make sure to check out the development blog. And I think three people just take, <laughs> took the, the one basket of berries. Okay, that's awesome. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you all for watching this first episode of Stonehearth Alpha Gameplay. I'll see you all in the next video. Hemnizu, signing out.